Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. 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 New. 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 <laughs> 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 Today is February 14, 2022. It is 3.42 a.m. This is video number two. I had a lot of uh, tweets to share with you. So I passed uh, over an hour. I decided to split it into two. And I'm probably going to have a third video because I have a lot more tweets to share with you because I didn't record since Friday, uh, February 12th. So I have a lot of tweets to share with you. So let's go on Twitter, see what's going on. As soon as I... one hour I'm gonna go to the next video all right next tweet okay is it crack all right they are so desperate for the Sussexes to go back to that island let's see this is Cora when Camilla is queen could she order Megan to be her lady and waiting so Harry will have to come home order I, I think I, I, I responded to her okay lol the F waiting for what M is doing her thing. She doesn't need to wait for uh, Queen of Ho. <laughs> ah, I'm telling you that Queen of Ho is really getting me. 
Okay, don't think Megan is going to set foot in the UK anytime soon. The main person who will be bowing to Camilla often is Kate. It is funny because Kate has been selling herself as the next queen concert on the consort as the next queen concert on magazine cover for the last two years only for the queen to pull the rug from under her i mean what rug? that was nothing that was everybody knew who was gonna be next if they thought if uh if kate thought she was gonna be next she's really deranged for a person who was born in that country and raised over there she should know how the monarchy worked all right charles was gonna be next not william okay on a serious note did william and kate think they were gonna skip over charles and camilla like what is the point of a monarchy folks can just pick and choose which ones they want to take over the throne if it's a vote then why have a monarchy at all exactly that that's exactly that all right let's see here they believe the press hype uh was it that is kate but are now learning what most knew it was only the undermined duchess of sussex because of her proximity to a person of color okay derange okay derangers we aren't racist also derangers can't camilla just make megan her slave so <laughs> we can have harry back uh 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 what the hell is uh, uh was it lady and waiting waiting for what lady f oh my god okay megan is an american citizen those rules don't apply to her okay they don't apply to any except those who want it exactly regardless of nationality okay it's racist it's pure unadulterated classic 19th century racism okay the fact this person seems to think that anyone has the power to demand another person come serve them without question is bizarre this person thinks slavery is still a thing and the royal family endorses it this openly for a supporter of theirs to actually even type this <laughs> uh was it they make it sound like camilla could compel megan to serve her against her will i'm telling you that is the very definition of slavery let me post my favorite video let's see here what? okay so, so then now when does crack <laughs> now so the cocaine's happening when does that crack come into play for you <coughs> okay so, so then now <laughs> I almost, I, um, I was drinking my coffee while this was playing. I almost, <coughs> I almost choked on. <laughs> That's the first time I. <laughs> I'm telling you, the squad be having some funny video. <laughs> this is hilarious. I literally almost choked on that. Almost choke on my coffee. There's a laugh that is unbelievably offensive. Okay, it's bloody desperation for some of Megan's shine to rub off of them. Okay, they don't want her shine, they want her subjugation. All right, there's this. Okay, note that they want Megan and slave, but Harry to go back home. <laughs> okay, I just said the same thing. They've lost touch with reality. Kate is sitting right there, and yet it's Megan they keep asking for. <laughs> yeah, nobody in the world family can order Megan to do anything. She is an American. She doesn't have to courtesy or serve anyone, especially since they were told they can't serve the monarch. <laughs> All right, the idiot of running around saying they can't wait to see Megan courtesy to Kate. <laughs> Uh, there's the mind blowing rolling eye. Okay, it's something stronger than crack with an extra shot of pure bigotry. Yep. Uh, I will bet my money on magic mushroom. <laughs> magic mushroom. This was a serious question. Typed out, then posted. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. I honestly don't see them ordering Megan to do anything that she will comply with that ship sell in 2020. Yep. Uh, yep, it's crack. <laughs> now that's laughable. As an American woman, Megan owns the royal family. Uh, what's all I? Royal family, absolutely nothing. Oh, right, pure fantasy. What the hell is this? I'm uh, convinced it's meth and the water. <laughs> yeah, this is just not. I'm convinced it's meth and the water mixed with the leak sewage. Oh, this is pure nasty. Okay, these people are sick. All right, no doubt about it. All right, let's go to the next tweet. Uh, uh, uh. 
these are the things that were going on over the weekend by the way okay so if i have this right harry was supposed to talk about camilla to show support for her becoming queen consort but shouldn't talk about the impact her entitlement with his father had on his life and his support is vital but any criticism is irrelevant yet could topple the monarchy <laughs> pick a lane people let's see this how are they not tired of themselves yet i can't imagine going through life being this exhausting i don't even think these reporters actually make that much to do all this tap dancing being aristocrat adjacent seems to be currency same way aristocrats pretend to be wealthy staying and those must be mentioned that are falling apart i'm telling you these people live they live in fantasy they live onto what people think of them they don't really live their life the way they want to uh, everything that they want to do they do it in secrecy yet they don't want things to come out and they're nasty the things that they want to do are nasty you know those pedophilia and all of that and then they broke okay being okay i think i read this being aristocrat adjacent seem to be uh, currency same way aristocrat pretend to be wealthy staying and those must be mentioned that are falling apart yeah i'm confused we've been told for nearly two years now that they are liars and irrelevant why will they need for him to speak up in favor of sai ho to queen shit they've got going on that island when he no longer reside there do you think that they finally acknowledge his global appeal i don't understand this hysteria was there an official statement from kp was there a comment from Anne andrew edward about their sister-in-law any reaction from other worlds nope i thought brits and british media wanted the sussexes to leave them alone <laughs> yep uh let's see here yep uh, he should uh, whitewash the mistress who slept with his father on the day he was born and he must have mentioned his mother at all he should get over it it's crazy isn't it they don't want him to talk about his mother instead he should be promoting the woman who broke up his parents marriage and his mother's heart and for whom his mother likely got killed for <laughs> that's why i'm so confused the same people begging for his silence now want him to speak on comment though i guess that's what they've always wanted can you imagine if they keep on going at it and harry was like you want you want me to say what i think and then he spilled the beans put everybody on shocker i mean they should just mind their own business everybody pretty much harry mind his own business which he is doing camilla should mind her own business because anything that they do you know people not gonna like all right let's see here anything they try to control him and say the same way they control co-op chuck charmilla will not and mamabilia <laughs> those names are funny their loss okay their loss of control of harry has them in a tailspin taking up three lanes and the thing is that when harry was over there they abused this guy to the fullest every chance oh my goodness poor guy and this is why i think i've been saying this this is why i think princess diana sent uh megan for those boys for different reason it's just to bed the brother the other brother then see it then see the gold mine that megan is that could have helped him all right they're exhausting and then camilla saw it too Camilla saw it. This is why the minute uh, Megan got over there, they're trying to uh, divide the brothers. All right, they divide the brothers because if if Egghead had stood by Harry, can you imagine his popularity? Can you imagine that? Next tweet. Let's move to the next tweet. But he made a deal with the devil, and sinking shape he must be. All right. Next tweet. William slowly being to und to understand that Harry will be a useful ally to have as Charles consolidates his power, a smarter, less insecure man will have figured that out years ago. Yeah, I, I've said I've been saying this for the longest. Okay, well, we know William's not at all that bright. <laughs> we also know that despite knowing he'll one day be king he's insecure i still can't figure out why they're squabbling all this was settled years ago charles will be king then william duh i mean everybody looks like it's almost like american some american don't even know uh their own history when uh foreigners know american history better than um most american now that i'm saying all american don't know their history because sometimes uh what is it the reason i'm saying before you guys start coming after me 
when you look at some question that they ask for uh, when someone is becoming a U.S. citizen, there's some question that they ask them to test them, the knowledge of American history. If you ask an American born some of these questions, they don't even know it. They don't even know some of those, uh, the answer to those, of those questions. That's what I mean by that. Uh, and you could also see when um, there are probably tons of videos of that. Jay Leno going to on the street asking people some basic question, American uh, history thing. They don't even know. Adults, okay? They don't even know. So there's my backup for that before somebody starts coming after me on this. Uh, interesting that uh, a William always uh, paraded Harry is dumb. William has all the Charles temper and none of the strategy. <laughs> so glad Harry and Meghan are away from all of these people. The thing is that I remember seeing videos when um, when I wasn't really following the, the royals. They're showing videos of William going to school and he's sitting on a, uh, at his desk writing how smart he's preparing to be king and all of this. They're showing how bright he is. But pretty much what they were trying to do, they trained William so the monarch could think for him. Everything is the monarch doing it for him. They tell him what to say, how to say it, when to say it, and all of this. Harry, on the other hand, wasn't really guided by the monarch. So his head, uh, his brain was pretty much a sponge. He get to retain those information and question those information and then act on those information or not act on those information. So all the stuff they were doing, those bed mouthing Harry and all of that, they were making him stronger. And the other one, they were stuffing him up and look at him. Right? It's people seeing it for what it, what each brother is. Interesting that William always portrayed Harry is dumb. William has uh, has all of Charles' temper and none of the strategy. Yeah, that's true. I hate to say this. Charles is a very intelligent man. He's, he's been working on this stuff, whatever he's doing right now for years. He's a very tactical man, very patient. And that's the thing uh, William, on the other hand, don't have. And I, I don't know why I feel that. He may not be the next king after Charles. I don't know why. All right. So glad Harry and Meghan are away from all of these people. Okay. Harry may not have love school, but he was never dumb. Yeah, that definitely. Uh, he has accomplished far more than Toby, who mumbled through school with an assistant from authority. All right. How did you make conclusion that he has un understood this? It always takes someone to walk away from from the other to realize maybe they were the problem to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> it, what is it? It takes at least two people for a fight to start. All right. If the other one is not responding, you have to wondering who's the problem here. All right. Harry and Megan, every time Harry and Megan come out and say something, it has to do with their work. Nothing with this nonsense except if they're trying to throw them under the bus and then they come out to set the record straight okay that's the only thing look at with the oprah interview they wanted to set the uh, record straight with all of those bs the the tabloid was going to can you imagine if they didn't do that if they didn't do the oprah interview that would eat them up knowing that these nonsense are out there no one ever defend them these kind of things are things that cause uh, that cause mental mental issues so them coming out to set the the record straight and put uh say their part of the story it, it's a relief to them and the other thing is that uh when the tabloid tried to throw them under the bus look at as recently as not too long ago actually two things one where charles was trying to throw heavy under the bus with uh, uh selling uh what is it those medals or with those middle eastern people and Harry was like, no, nope, I told you this person is a bad actor. You decided to do make deal with him. Don't come and throw me under the bus. That's one thing. And the other thing is they were saying Harry is begging for, uh, for security and all of that. Yeah, he's asking for it. But as a son of a future king, why will you remove his security? So he's saying like, look, this is what happened to me when I went over there. Uh, I went to an event and then when I leave the event, my security was, you know, the police were gone and, and there was that chase going on. So I need security. Right? So he set the record straight. 
that's the only time Harry comes out. And then the other time was Megan, you know, did the Oprah interview. And everything else is their work. Okay, whatever else that they're doing is to promote their work. All right. Well, George is eight. If Charles lived 90, he'll be 28. <laughs> Actually, um, I think he once knew that very well. He just didn't plan for, uh, for his brother's independence married life. <laughs> That's his fault because he went and backstabbed. This is the thing. They like to punch, 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 but they don't want people to punch back. All right. So look at it. So he's going down the drain ever since. His massive ego and contemptuous nature got the better of him. Okay, he's masculated so badly. <laughs> Let's go. Let me go to the next tweet. Next tweet. Oh my God, already 19 minutes. All right, once again, the British media proved Harry and Meghan was right. The invisible contract is real, but we already know. Let's see here. Having met her several times, I really like Camilla, but PR campaign and spend of the last week has been extraordinary. The Daily Mail uh, would have been the first paper to lay siege to any ideas of Queen Camilla. Now they are putting in Clarence House hand. The invisible contract is real. <laughs> Emily Andrew. So, oh, so this is where they're actually saying it now. The invisible contract is real. So there it is. They're admitting it. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is scary. Let me move on before I say something stupid. Uh, right? This is about whether Camilla does or doesn't deserve the title. In my humble opinion, she does. It's about palace spend, briefing, and how paper shape image. Best piece written this week was by Peter Hunt. Well worth a read. Okay, spectators, how Camilla came in from the cold. The spectator, Queen Camilla, once a far-fetched prospect, now a reality when the day comes thanks to this extraordinary intervention by the Queen. Again, there's that uh, Emily Andrews. <laughs> Let's see here. What else? Um, there's more here. So let us know once and for all, do the tabloid control the royal family or do the royal family control the tabloid? Good question. Okay, so there's, she's responding to that. Good question. I think it's highly nuanced, uh, but of both situation. But currently, the power lies with the palace on the tabloids precisely because Harry and Meghan cut them out. Okay, understand why Harry and Meghan did that, but a unforeseen result was that it handed Clarence House, KP, even BP much more control. Thanks, Jane. I remember one of a very senior courtier asking me, quote, is this the hill you want to die on? <laughs> and quote, when I was going to run a piece about the senior world that she or he didn't want in the paper, the paper wanted the palace's help, so the piece didn't run standard. What? They're spilling the beans now. That's recent. That was February 12th. That was on Friday. And if you play nice and give a particular royal good coverage, etc., well, then the paper journal is rewarded with access or information. That's exactly Harry, what Harry and Meghan were saying. This happened all the time in politics, etc. It's not surprising, but I also think people need to look skeptically as to why th things happen and when. <laughs> there it is. They, they, they're telling them themselves. Okay, makes no mistake. This royal reporter has written nasty piece in the past against Harry and Meghan. She is not to be trusted. What is your, um, what is your moral compass when you agree with Kensington Palace and Clarence House to write nasty piece about the Sussexes? And I have pieces about Kensington Palace or Clarence House in order to get access from Kensington Palace or Clarence House. Let's see here. Three and three. Uh, what is this? Okay, that's in French, so I can't read that. Okay, under hand begging Clarence House for an uh, exclusive note. The I have I haven't gone vogue yet, but I will soon if you don't draw me in vibe. Can I stand Camilla, the home wrecker? <laughs> Uh, let's go to the next tweet. So they're pretty much telling on themselves. So whatever Harry and Meghan said, there it is. And I came across a article by mistake. I was searching for something and I stumbled on it and I almost gave up until I start seeing names and what the, the names were met. You know, the thing where Charles took William to parties and the party was with the, um, with those, uh, newspaper people. All right, next tweet. 
Richard K. wonders why Prince Harry hasn't said anything about Camilla, the future queen consort. But why does it matter? Prince Harry isn't senior working royal. Okay, that's an article. I'm not going to uh, click on it. <laughs> Uh, why isn't Harry a very unpopular member of the royal family that no one wants to hear from? Why is Kay begging him to endorse Camilla? Doesn't he have a whole future future king to endorse her? Uh, uh, uh. These people are crazy. Let's not believe the British media. Harry is the most popular royal according to a poll done just three days ago. The British media unpopular narrative is a lie. Of course. Of course. I mean, the squad band knew that. The squad Ben knew that if people thought that uh, Harry is the least popular, you are different. Uh, the squad know that. Okay, I agree. I'm a Brit, not brainwashed by some tabloid evil uh, um, agenda to turn UK a diverse nation of mixed couple against a much loved couple who reflect our nation. It began the first day Megan joined our British royal family, but gained momentum because of created excuses. Momentum. Okay, Brits love Harry and Meghan, but section of our elites, racist, misogynistic, anti-American were bent on splitting Harry and Meghan up before they married. I mean, you know it was coming from the... By now, we know it was coming from within. Right? All those nonsense that they were doing was within. They even draw up the father to talk against the, uh, the daughter. Right? That's the shame th part of uh, Meghan's father. Look at this. After... <laughs> After Charles, uh, I'm saying Charles, after uh, Thomas Marco spilled the bean, you don't see them bringing him back again. Where he said they were, um, uh, it was a setup to mess up the marriage. Have you heard from uh, Megan's father yet? Ever since? Nope. Uh, he spilled the beans. They don't. They have no use for him. If he was going to sp uh, spill the beans, say a whole bunch of lies, you will still be hearing from him. But now after that last thing, <laughs> where i think it was it in the australia where they brought him up to talk about stuff and he started naming name and then they cut him off really quickly and then they had to do apology the next day i believe okay anti-american were bent on splitting harry and megan before they marry after all uh, they've done uh, they done it back in the 1980s with another yet American the furious they didn't succeed this time and relentless but God uh, on this one uh, was that Andrew and cool stock or which American did you mean okay a cool stock who's that who's cool stock okay I'm learning something here whom they imply was a porn star because we saw her high in a film KS sent away okay KS went away then the blonde model and the advert rode on the horse and ate the long flocky chocolate they insinuated it the positive sour state despite bed press is like what the hell who's this cool stock who is cool stock let's look it up I never heard of anything of an, an, another American with the exception the one that married the king who's cool start ah was he super Kathleen Norris Stark uh, better known as cool Stark, is an American photographer and actress known for her relationship with Prince Andrew ah she is a patron of the Julia Margaret Cameron Trust Museum of the Victorian Pioneer photographer ah okay that's the first time i'm hearing this so ah so prince andrew was uh, in love with uh, an with an american too Whew. okay interesting i'm telling you you learned something on twitter this is how i was able to find out about uh what's that thing with uh uh edward edward uh Arden production it's to twitter and i went and searched okay a cool stock okay whom they imply was a porn star oh my goodness these people they sm you know what at least this one worked because can you imagine if uh, she had married uh, uh was it uh, andrew and then this bs that andrew's doing oh my goodness thank god for that one Okay, in the past several years, Prince Harry had a wonderful maternal role model whose love and support have helped him detox from the royal family. Doria Wagland, she never talked to the press, no leaks, just uh, radio silent. Yep, that is true. Okay, this man thinks that 
we have not seen Camilla mocking a very pregnant Megan just because she said Megan is nice girl and 2017. Is this how people expect victims to put up with abuse just because they were treated well at the beginning of the relationship? Remember uh, Princess Diana, I, now I can't put videos, I'm sorry because they some crazy stuff be going with some of my videos that have clips that I put. What is it? Princess Diana had said at the beginning when she was dating Charles, they treated her nice. They treated her very nice until after the marriage. And they have, uh, the uh, I think, w William, the first kid. And that went south after that. It's unbelievable. Maybe Harry seen her being nice to Megan, but nasty behind her back. And remember how she pretended to be nice to his mom at first. So yeah, it's the same pattern. They never leave the pattern behind. The blueprint is still the same. And this is why they keep going at it, trying to pin uh, Megan with all sort of walls to see what will stick. And Megan then come out and say the damn word. Okay, the fells doing everything they can to push Sherry for a comment. They may as well forget it. Okay, unfortunately, I can see Daily Mail escalating this further. They are desperate. Yeah, all Harry and Megan have to do is shut their mouth. That's it. All right, let them derange themselves in their own lives. Okay, how deeply cruel of Richard K to demand that Harry publicly made a statement about the status of a woman who made his mother miserable. His mother who, but for the despicable action of his mother together with his father, might now be alive to enjoy her grandbabies. Ah, uh, this will probably will not happen because Charles never loved uh, Diana from the get-go. Uh, I mean, it would be nice, but Charles never loved Diana at all. And if uh, Camilla had li uh, leave Charles alone. Maybe, maybe Charles will stick stick around. But even after the the marriage, she was still uh, dealing with him. This is why I keep on saying she's a baggage for guy. Both of them, uh, Charles and Camilla, they both are baggage for guy. Okay, that's the beauty of his of his leaving. He is beholding to the royal rats, British media, British royal family anymore. He's a grown man with his own voice and thought. And this instance, his silence is deafening. If Charles were to die before Camilla, is Camilla still queen consort? William will be king. Will Katie and Camilla share the queen consort title? I think the minute Charles become king, they're going to make some changes right away right away right away right away anything to benefit camilla all right so that's the thing here all right be on the lookout for that let's go into that okay camilla will not become queen consort if charles pass away without being crowned king scenario charles become king then he dies will become king but camilla and kate will both be queen consort but i won't be surprised if uh camilla is referred as queen mothers to avoid confusion i see what you're saying here because that title she wants to keep that the thing is that i believe the minute charles become king there's some changes that gonna happen uh what is it william may not even be william may not even be king i would think she will become the dowager duchess of cornwall that's her legal rank right now Okay, something tells me the fact that she wasn't born from nobility will inform the decision to not call her Queen Dowdery either. Uh, I'd imagine one will have to go through a coronation for that and will have to have born an heir to have Queen Mother rank. Yeah, I think so too. I, I think so too. Or whatever, um, if she's gonna be, if uh, Camilla's son, okay, that's the thing here. If Camilla's son is the next king. This is where the thing will be here. This is why I believe things will change the minute Charles become king. Because why will they give uh, Camilla king cons um, queen consort? Is it is that the title that they give her? If it's not gonna be uh, a heir, I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. This thing is all effed up to me. Is there more stuff on the other side? All right. So there's more comment. Let me just move on. Let's go to the next tweet. This is ridiculous. It's like a freaking soap opera. Next tweet. Okay. Harry has very real and legitimate reason to not like Queen, Queen Camilla. This sudden Camilla versus Megan PR attack 
is to make you forget that Camilla bullied Harry's mom and attempt to make Camilla an innocent victim of England's favorite scapegoat, Meghan Markle. And the thing is that they're trying to get a word out of uh, Harry or Meghan, all right, so they could spend their words, all right, twist their word to something completely. Okay, the idea that Megan will be the only reason that Harry has anything negative to say about Camilla is laughable. But rea reality doesn't matter. They are selling the story that is, it was Megan who was the interlope between Camilla, Charles, William, and Harry's happy uh, family unit. <laughs> These people are crazy. Okay, at this point, there's me responding to that. At this point, if anyone is buying this bullying claim, Queen of Ho versus Megan, they are really deranged. Megan hasn't been in the public eye uh, to be argued for or blaming Megan. This time around, we need to make sure Queen of Ho's tactic will not work. Instead, it's exposing her hungry for power behavior, evil biatch. <laughs> Trying to make Camilla unpopularity, Megan's assault. Mm -mm -mm. What is that? Okay, not only did Camilla torment Diana, what does Charles and Camilla think that did think that did to Harry growing up watching it with his own eyes? Kids are much smarter than you think. He knows what that woman did to his mother. Yep, that is true. Next tweet. I have come to the sad conclusion that most UK journalists need psychological evaluation. So that's Richard Dobson. I mean, these people, they know what they're doing. They know that what they're doing. They, this kind of uh, tactic of manipulate uh, uh, wording and putting nonsense on the tabloid, they've been doing it for the longest. They know what they're doing. All right, Prince Harry's memoir said to reveal his true feeling about Camilla and whack the monarchy to its foundation. If this is true, <laughs> look at this, this is where, if this is true, he really has turned out to be a pathetic man. Mm -mm. Time to go up, Harry. Look at this. They're saying if, if, they're putting their nonsense out. Time to go up, Harry, with every passing day, your tantrum, what tantrum? They're <laughs> <laughs> they want Harry to come out and say something and now they're saying Harry has a tantrum. Mud sliding become less relevant. These people are crazy. <laughs> no wonder why this, this says uh, they need psychological evaluation. Okay, they, they are doing exactly what they are asked now to uplift and purify Charles, or is it Charles or Kamala? Okay, at the same time, smear Harry and Megan. Earlier was purify Kate, smear Megan, same tactic. Yeah, that's their blueprint. Okay, it is rather amusing. Jabson is the epitome of the pathetic man. <laughs> not just the journalistic the people that believe them the, the ones that hire them to report and these uh they report on that allow crap like this to go unchallenged yep this is where the squad came in to challenge them and this is why everything that they throw is dead on arrival considering the person he writes about did absolutely nothing to provoke this that's the thing uh, we can only presume his name calling himself pure objection. Irrelevant Jabson, pathetic man Jabson, mud slinging Jabson, tantrum Jabson, time to go up Jabson. I mean, how old is this man? <laughs> oh my goodness. I say that it's you, Mr. Jabson, on who needs to go up, get a brand and start earning honest money by cleaning up your act. You're getting a proper job. Do you even read what you write and call yourself a good man? When last did you see Harry, let alone witness tantrum? <laughs> yep, this is the thing here. People never question them and this is why they don't know any different because they used to have the part that they just threw nonsense out. Nobody challenged them. So now people are challenging them. They don't even know how to deal with it. So instead, they go to the next person in line and it's still coming dead on arrival. Charlie Fat Fingers mouthpiece, all right? These are the real courtiers, agent of destruction. <laughs> okay, they're all psychic. <laughs> All uh, right, Robert Jackson, you know nothing about what Harry thinks. He doesn't tell you. He doesn't like you. You write fantasy gossip, trying to report in truth for interest, meaning for news. If you can, that is. Okay, it's just pig squirrel at this point. They've lost the narrative and are screaming for attention. 
and th what happened is that uh, the squad is good at just taking screenshots and don't give them clicks when they put their nonsense out jobo knows this isn't true but desperate for online engagement seeing the attention his colleagues got and vogue harry's name and this tabloid clickbait making him the only pathetic man his charles biographer why can't he ask him to and tell everyone too late i don't usually say anything to them but this time i did so disgusting these people the royal family have pushed camilla down the uk people's throat <laughs> uh yeah they're force feeding people let's go to the next tweet that i have and final one that has to do with charles and camilla and this kind of thing all right all this tantrum from shutter island can only mean one thing the sussexes aren't going anywhere this summer and honestly who can blame them queen camilla pr has been turned into another heavy and megan bashing all right i really hope so i hope they uh, fly over uk to their destination for the invictus game and fly over them again to the united states they need to learn that heavy is not playing uh, when it comes to his family and safety okay the public then immediately flagged to support her so they doing the crying story 2022 but with Mila to make her out to be a victim of Megan, hoping this will make the country really rally around her. <laughs> what is it? The picture of Camilla and Kate going to the school. You see, the kids have no interest in them. Uh uh uh. They definitely shoving the nonsense down people's throat. Yet they setting the scene to make up reason why Harry and Megan won't show up to the Jubilee this year. <laughs> jubilee the way they spell it obviously we know the real reason is that they won't have security but they they're gonna have a different narrative about it ofc okay that's this here uh the script is so predictable and exhausted that's what i'll be saying you know exactly what they're gonna be doing next it's not like people are psychic they they stick to their blueprint Okay, I hope to God, Harry and Meghan are now in a space where they say simply DGAF about these vipers just live their lives on their term. After all, they have two children to raise. Camilla and Kate have each other. All right, Snake, I'm so happy. I actually hope Harry visit the UK and go to see the Spencers only. Or the Spencers attend Lily Diana's christening in the US. Oh, little bit Diana probably already christened already. And really speaks. Going to be fantastic. Harry has another family too. And they love him and very proud of him and Megan. True. Okay, why will Harry go see a woman who made his mother's life a nightmare evaluate the queen? He should skip the whole mess over there and focus on building a better family than he had for himself. Yep. All right, so let's do a prayer. That's my last tweet. What can we say? Prayer for what? Prayer for a better future. Let's do that. For a better future. Okay, prayer for a good future. Power of living word. All right, let's see if there is anything on the side. Not much. Let's go to image. Um, Let's do this one and then i'll do one of these okay prayer for the for success father your positive life uh giving energy supersedes any negative depleting energy inherit in this world greater is who is inside of me than what is in this world your spirit dwell inside of me energizing me to become all you envision i know it is great because what you have envisioned for me is for a bright future paved with one success after another amen my eyes was looking into this let's read this one and then that's it dear god i don't know what the future holds but i know the future is in your hands bring me to a better tomorrow make the day of my life and the life of my days overflow with love kindness and appreciation amen all right so that's it please take a moment to subscribe like and share if you want to help support this channel there's a paypal link in the description you could donate i'm gonna do another video and that other video is gonna focus on more of heavy and megan all right remember over the weekend i didn't record anything so i have a lot to share with you so the next video will focus mostly on the sussexes all right let's see here maybe not megan oh vibe let's see yeah let me just start the next video